There we go. Okay. I haven't done anything to the sound, so if we need to lower it later, we will. Options. Language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Okay. Animals and harvestable plants have preferences. Put decorations that they like nearby them. Sounds like some demanding bushes. I have Bodhi. He's like slow blinking here on the chair next to me. He's kind of been up here all day. Um, I'm a little out of it. I tried sleeping a little bit, but Isaac was a little louder than I needed it to be. Hence the door closing at one point while he was streaming. Um, but I think I dozed enough that I'm alive. <sighs> Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. When the Spirit Scout comes of age, they start to become more than the labels they've lived within. What? Wait, no, go back. Wait. Yeah, that's good. Body shop. Look how adorable I can be. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about some of these. Here, let's do that one. Oh my god, these little hair- the hairdos. Oh my god, the hairdos. Yeah, he was playing uh, Days Gone yesterday, last night. I was watching um, Legacy play it and talking to him for a bit. It's I've always been interested in the game, but I've never actually been interested enough that it sits on my mind long enough for me to actually pick it up. And be like this. Looking good. Now it's time to begin your campy trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provi provisions. I feel like I'm a child that's been sent off to a remote island to just be away from everyone who hates me in reality. Anyways. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You'll need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. In other words, stay alive, brat. Spirit Scout model. All those who are lost deserve kindness. It is adorable. It reminds me of a weird version of Animal Crossing. Except there's no raccoon to sit there and try and, like, force us to work for him. But that also means there is no home. Stand near... Calf, calf, calf. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century, at least. So, where have you brought us this time? Haunted bear-infested island. An island of bears, you say? Wow. Um, mommy and daddy need some time alone, so your party at the house, so they sent the kid off. Oh my god. The handbook speaks of one such place, Cozy Grove. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Oh well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you would be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? Very ready. That's the spirit. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of these woods. She's been waiting for there a long, long time. Don't be afraid, scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. I like how I'm not allowed to have a name. Oh, what? Okay. Just pushing trees. You look like a raccoon, and I'm very upset by this. <laughs> Is the game still listed its tailspin? Hold on. Uh. No, it's Cozy Grove. Refresh. Huh? Another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey at a strong, a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Guilty as charged. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to the camp, Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. See that uniform of yours? It looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. What? That's right, 100% bonafide scout. Is that a problem? A problem, hmm? 
You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Are the others dead? Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge, and then she died. <laughs> yeah, it does. Calcifer, exactly. Reminds me of Calcifer. Did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past, though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. You're planning to stay the night. Remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. I need to find a wood log. It's right here. Also, it looks like a ghost. Here's a log for you. And this is totally Calcifer. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? From a bear in a ranger suit? The bear in the ranger suit, I see. Well, first of all, thank you, it's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah, that spirit wood has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, a crafter of useful things. Yeah, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. I've earned a new badge. Log burner beginning. He's suddenly not dead. I want money. Oh my god, you dropped pennies. As if I could buy anything with this. Once again, underpaid. <laughs> it's adorable. Why is why is the sound so low there? Now it's better. I feel like there's 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 a kite in that tree. Let me in. I need this what? No. I need okay. So I need to find more wood. Oh, is that what that exclamation's for? It's just telling me where to go. Can I can I at least have chances to explore game? It's all like, no, you have to do this our way first. They're not raccoons, they're all bears. Oh, I guess you could see me, Jeremy Gruffle. I'm so sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. Sorry, sorry for what? Isaac's not here for that. For haunting a perfectly good island. The last thing I want is to drift around the afterlife glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folk like yourself. It's unseemly. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I'll make it worth your while. Where am I gonna f discovered one of Jeremy's memories? Where am I gonna find branches? Hey, at least it's letting me discover now. Here's a branch. Is that a branch? That's a branch. What's this? Nothing. Is it tired of bear machinations? I don't think that's possible for him. Can I have a branch? There's literally wood everywhere. Just fucking get the branch. Like, no, it must have naturally fallen off. That way it's dry and doesn't create smoke. This game's adorable. If it starts putting me to sleep, we're changing it. <laughs> Check the beaches, that's, yeah. That's kind of one of my thoughts, but. Here's, a, here's one. Can I run? This is the, fa the fastest I can go. I could do this. 
Okay, so X opens that. Wow. Excuse me, sir. I don't know where your other branches are. I'm a poor child and I don't know where branches are. And the unlit- oh, yeah, I already checked the unlit fireplace. This game looks so adorable, you love it, it's cute. Yeah, it's... One of the reasons I wanted to play it is it definitely looks adorable, and depending on how... ...well it plays, or how much I like it, I might make it an early morning game for a little bit. Because I've always liked the cutesy games as the startup game. Granted, the last one we did was uh, Boy and His Blob, which I never finished, even though I said I was gonna finish it. Just because, oh my god, it got infuriating. <laughs> Where... Where is my other branch? This branch? No. Why? Maybe if we just check up and behind, we'll find one? It was near a folding chair. Well, these are folding chairs. Is that a folding chair? Oh, that's a folding chair. Oh my god, there's so many folding chairs. There's three of them. <laughs> Too many. In front of the bear? Oh, it is, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yay. Look at these sticks, what beauties! A twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work, my paws kept slapping through the lathe. But if you want to dig up the soft mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. Sea spirits, I help this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it. Darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry, I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log, too. The f fuck are all these little things? There. So cute. Little mounds of dirt, huh? Oh, over this way. Must be a spirit log over on the... Where is the spirit log? Oh, he just gave it to me. I have it. Yips. Dig up dirt mounds with the shovel. Yes. They're not very visible, unless these are mounds. They definitely look like mounds. These are visible. What's that? I got a parsnip. I've always wanted a parsnip. I haven't. Here's a log for you. Well done. My light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kid has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh. He looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. I worry about you. Tutorial completer. My boat's gone. My boat's gone. Is that what we were worried about? The fact that the boat is now gone? Wait, what's this? Why is there more shore? Hello. Blame is evil, I call it. <laughs> In life, I was Barrow of the Sea. You look like a bird. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. You're, you're a bird. He's adorable. And now, 
I am transformed. A vast young person, how long have you been standing there? You caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Bill Weathersnout, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. So are you a bear or a seagull? A bit of both, Squawk. Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Seems to keep monsters that lure people to them with their clumsy action, then pounce on them and tear them apart with their sharp... What? No, not always. Sometimes. Depends on what game slash story you're talking about. Except, of course, for love of fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing yard and I'll show you what's on the menu. So I have to go fishing. gonna try and create the hunger version from little nightmares it's a lot of stuff you wrote Niggies. um that will be daunting if that's the boat that's in little nightmares good luck that's 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 a heck of an undertaking seagull bear is his mom the bear of the seagull can I help with something? Sometimes you can find things on this island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Okay. So look at leaf piles. Um... No, you're fine for typing a lot. It's just sometimes I can't actually get to... There's been plenty of times where I could read it all, but sometimes I can't. This one's requiring me to pay a little bit more attention to the game than I thought it was going to. <gasps> what are you? Hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit, but how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. You can buy a fishing rod at the merchants. The only catch, I set the prices. How can I help you? I want to buy some. Take a look at the shiny new stuff. I could part with the ocean fishing rod for 20 old coins. How's that sound? Sounds great. Take my money. I like how I got actually confused and didn't notice I didn't have a fishing rod because it being on the right, I... The, the stuff on the right is my quests. The stuff on my left is what I actually have in my inventory. I have a fishing rod. I say that that will do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take the rod and catch us a whopper. All right. Oh, we already advanced the story. It was a seagull, and his dad was Man Bear Pig. Why did we confuse this? Why? <laughs> How do I do this? Row item. I think I have to talk to him again, he'll tell me. Oh, hold right trigger. It's basically Animal Crossing. Yeah, mud sucker. Do I have a limit on what I can pull? To yeah, it looks like. Uh, what you said is you're recreating the Hunger version of Little Nightmares of Minecraft. Yeah, I saw that. I still think that's gonna be that's pretty awesome that you're gonna do that. That's 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 a daunting task. I can't imagine myself recreating anything from anywhere else in Minecraft because I feel like I'd spend a lot of time building it in. But I do know that a lot of people love doing that.
It's basically Animal Crossing. Except everything's dead. Deprive the sea of all life as you can consume everything. What is this? Not seen so much around these parts. I just got two. Uncommon fish winter, tiny lazy. Hey. Rough Atlantic Cowrie. I see you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either give me the one you've got or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. What? Ah, fine, Finn, you've managed to treasure up there. Good eating. I think he and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea. My boat did what? Oh, yeah, so loose knot and fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself. This island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes cheered by our wretched tales of ghostly wool. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. Thankfully, someone knows we're here, not that they will ever return to save us. So, young sailor, though we're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here in Cozy Grove. Whatever plans you had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't yet an uh, overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors, squawk. If a fish has given your hook the cold shoulder, try recasting it. Some of these scurvy dogs won't bite unless you smack in the middle oh, in their line of sight. Look at you adorable little things. Come here. Am I am I just feeding this spirit log back to him? I guess I am. What do I Put stuff in my storage. Four spaces free. Check out clothing collection. Official beret of the Spirit Scouts. I need to do that. Upgrade my tent. I want to burn something. Here's a log for you. Delicious! Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sense at least two logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. I think in order to get a spirit log, I have to actually do these, um, quests. That's what it seems like. What would you like to do? Get hidden object directions. I can sell you a hint for 100 gold coins. How does this end? No thanks. I mean, I think I could just search. Okie dokie. What is this? Uncommon bamboo lamp, golden pawpaw tree, walnut nut, potted tulip. Yeah, this is... This is like... Creepy ghost animal crossing. <laughs> Minus the creepy ghost and making them cutesy ghosts. The, everything here is dead. Just remember, when you have a moment and you're all like, this place is adorable and beautiful, just remember everything here is dead. Why Why is it telling me to... What? Need to find another. Have you ever seen a sky like that? It's literally glowing. In school, they told us sunlight is just radiation. Now I get worried every time I see an extra pretty sunset. Okay. I see a fish. That's really far. Don't starve Animal Crossing. Except we're not even feeding them because they're all dead. 
Yeah, ugly loach. Yeah, look at that thing. It's gross. Let's go burn it. No. Well, something. Something went after it. Okay. Yeah, another ugly loach. I'm so happy. A new badge. Ichthyologist beginner. I'm so glad I've learned ichthyologist. I am feeding the fire ghost ghost wood, but I don't have any more ghost wood. I need to find more. That super duper confuses me. I'm like, am I supposed to just keep on digging stuff up? I mean, here's some more leaves. Yay. I don't know what good those are. I mean, here. This is, this is interesting. I mean, it's, it's very much a sit down and relax kind of game. I was just thinking, whenever I start up my table saw, the noise and the smell of the fresh sawdust takes me back to my early days of woodworking. It was said to me back then that the blade is unforgiving and needs to be respected. I know it was just workshop safety advice, but it really took it to heart. Hey, Maker Buddy, I just wanted to say I know I apologize a lot, and I apologize for that. It's just a bad habit. Darn it, I did it again, didn't I? Sorry about that. What is that stuff at the bottom? Spirit scouts are in diligent. Spirit scouts are so far. These are my badges. What do you want? I forget what your thing is. Wait, what is his thing? Hold on. Look near a workbench. It'll probably be under a leaf pile. Over this way. Oh. There's a workbench. You have a leaf pile around here? Does it count as a workbench? Look how adorable this is. Um. Tell the game to stop being relatable. <laughs> I'm a little... Like, it said, look under a leaf pile near a workbench. Okay, so where is there a leaf pile? Does he have a workbench over here? I don't think he does, but he might. What's this? It's a fruit tree. He does not have a workbench. Oh, that whole apologizing thing is something. I'm trying to figure out where there's a leaf pile near him. That's all I'm trying to do. But I don't see a leaf pile. Unless I already did it? Hold on. Maybe I already did it. About that. Have you tried digging through leaf piles? Check your guest log for a hint, or if you're really stuck, come to get me to get directions. Yeah, but you want a hundred. Here's a leaf pile. I do not see that. That's not it. Because I think we're actually looking for that brochure or whatever. Um, here's a leaf pile. 
Why is there a leaf pile on the beach? <laughs> I was literally staying away from the beach because I'm all like, why would leaf piles be on the beach? Hey, I found it. That's it. Why is an old spirit scout wilderness guide? And hey, the memento collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress helping local spirits, which I have to admit, you've gotten a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the memento collection book now? Yeah, show me my sweet relationship progress. That's the spirit. Here it is. I love the dialogue. Matt, type forest. Two of six founds. So there's six spirits. View memories. Show the comic. How adorable. That was the previous spirit scout who died. Give me more. Yes. That's the story advancement? How much story do you have? That's barely a single heart. <laughs> oh my God. Here's a log for you. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears, guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find it. Ah, my light shines further, illuminates lost corners in time. I see another figure absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. Oh my god, is it the former spirit scout? Hey. You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered out into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young, placid bird, but if you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. So you want me to buy a spirit. Is that what you're trying to say? Money. Hey. I want to buy something. 250 old coins. I'm sorry, what? You can't afford that. I'm sorry, what? Do I need to sell to you? I want to sell stuff. Sounds great. Here you go. I want to sell more stuff. What is this? Sell that. Sounds great. What is this? Three potatoes. Yeah, sure. Sounds great. Here you go. How much money do I have? 192. You're a spirit. I need to talk to you, but I need to dig this up first because that could be something I can sell. Also, I need to go into this leaves. And find more mushrooms. Hello. No, what did I do that for? Because I'm a bear and I'm hungry. Never question me again. Patrice Furbach, the postal bear at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life, and I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivery mail to ghosts? That's a whole new bag. Let me... Uh, <laughs> a whole new mail bag? Oh... Busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the to town post office at O oh, 800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residences. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals, but I'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. Totally saw one near some balancing what? Balancing beach stones. So close I can taste it. So go to the beach. What are you? Yeah, collapsed lungfish, what? That's, that's problematic sounding. <laughs> do you have something you need to do for me? I need you to do? 
Can I help you with something? Hey there, make your buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. I don't need any more apologies. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm afraid apologizing just is in my nature. I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First though, I'm gonna need some softwood, root vegetables, and wood branches. I think I'm... It's quite a lot of materials you've gathered, and I bet you're wondering what sort of tools is he gonna to make for me now? Are you making me a shovel out of potatoes? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself? My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. I want to make something right now. Great, let me show you to my workshop. Soft hard what's this <gasps> a comfortable chair common log bench fence common log cabin fence common log cabin planter i want this sounds great here are the materials crafted story advanced Craft something. New recipe. What's this? Precious gem. Your precious, not mine. Used to craft special. Okay, I can't do that. You get a common log table. Sounds great. Here are the materials. Crafted. Okay, what am I supposed to do with those? Do I place them out? Anyways, we need to find a balancing stones. Chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones, my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> I molted. Go and find some of my feathers. I need them. Oh, here we go. Is that enough? No. How many feathers does he need in his life? There's another one. I see it. It's over this way. There's a shell here. It's very odd picking things up when I can barely see things on the ground. Like, it, it looks like it's part of the background, so I don't think of it. There's a package. We found it. Found your package. I don't remember who this goes. This goes to the postal bear. Hey. Found this for you. Okay. Apparently I found that first. Did you feel it? The rush of finding a package? The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address? Let me just be straight with you. I love this job. Time to drink. Ooh, hydrate. But I could use a postal helper to help me with the USDs. Is he talking about US dollars? What's a USD? Sorry, that's postal slang. Unidentified supernatural deliverables, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in Aramaic or spewing demon fire, well... You just send that puppy my way. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Ooh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. Hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make peace with itself. But when you do, you'll finally graduate to second degree. Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. I'll try to write to you every day, unless I get busy. Get all presents. Yes. 
Test, 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 mail from Postal Bear. Hi, it's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself so you can see how it works. I've also included a little thank you gift for your help. Ah. Give me a spirit log. Also, his story advanced a little. And we got color. I do like how the island is slowly getting more and more colorful as you help them. Now to find the donkey of the island. <laughs> 202. Want to sell some things. Rough flamingo tongue. 30 old coins, 30 old coins. 75 old coins for Luff lightning wealth. How about if I just sell these? Split. For 200 coins. Yes. Sounds great. Here you go. I want to buy something. I want to buy this. Sounds great. Take my money. Purchased. What is this? Store upgrade catalog. 10,000. Holy crap. Alright, look. I got this for you. Yes, this is a bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self. A ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Also, here's a spirit lock. Look at the color. Um, am I supposed to hold in hand? Animal Miner Beginner? Happy spirit animal. Feed cooked food, then harvest essence. Surround it with items it likes to increase your harvest. Likes decorations and lamps and rustic decor. Dislikes imps. Edit. Oh my god. Edit again. Well, it likes rustic decor, so... I turn that around. Rotate. There we go. Yes. Here, I'll pet you again. It likes... It, it wants a bagel. Here's a log for you. Only four more logs before I'm full. I sense a log in your bag. No, stop it. Here's a log. Yum. Only three more logs before I'm full. I sense at least two logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Well, I mean, there's more feathers I can grab.
Feather? Hello, Feather. Unless they're actually up and on the mainland and not all here on the beach. That's possible, too. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, look at that. Harvest it. I don't think I can. I want to craft something. How do I make a tool? Nope. No tools. Here's one. I have a feeling they're not necessarily going to be hidden behind things. I have a feeling it's going to be out in a viewable. I found another coin. Also, what the hell? Why are their bones sticking out of this? I'm a little concerned with that. There's another one. Why are the mushrooms worth so much anyways? There's another one. There's gonna be one or two more. It was near the Cozy Grove sign. I'm just intentionally picking these up. Considering everything seems to respawn a little. There it is. Got it. Oh, I got all of them. Yay. Did it say a whole wheat donut? It looked like a bagel just looking at it. Isn't it the same thing? I mean, technically no, but... What are all these? Common farmhouse delights. Stuff scout crafting recipe, learn. Stuff scout, now you can craft it anytime. Common farmhouse delights. Large potted plant. Hey. Squawk, that's a fine set of feathers. But why bother helping me, little castaway, when you have such troubles of your own? You give a quest, I do it, you reward me. That's how the, this works. Oh, a pragmatist with a touch of sass. You'll do well on these shores, sailor. With these bits of fluff pad in my coat, the wind wind's bite does lose its teeth. But bundled so, a rule of the afterlife comes to me clear as white rum. Even in death, ye cannot refeather your wings. Story advance. Give me color. Yes. Well, that's two more. Is that enough for him? No, he wants three. Which means someone else must have a quest. Hey, Kit. You got a quest? Want a new look? Eh. These chairs right there. You have a quest? Oh, I was just thinking. The thing about the mail, delivery dynamo, it never stops. You could pull a double shift, you could do your roots and flat sprint, doesn't matter. There's always more work. They say it drives some postal workers crazy, but for me, it's what I love about the job. If it didn't keep me occupied, I don't know what I'd do. It's really important to make friends. What if we get sick and need to crowdfund your appendectomy? Friendship equals survival, especially if you want to survive late capitalism. Hi, Kim. Yes, it's me on the weekend. I did say I was gonna uh, try and do a bunch of streaming today to make up for the fact that we uh, uh, we weren't around for the last two days. Um, how long? I don't know. My intention was to go for a while. Like, a while, a while. Here's a log for you. Delicious. Only two more logs before I'm full. Yeah, if you missed what Isaac said, basically what ended up happening was so we got the we got our second shot. We're we're fully vaccinated now. Um, we basically had similar effects that other people had, which was 
basically, we didn't get incredibly sick or anything. We both got incredibly tired. And uh, the following day, all we ended up doing was uh, immediately, actually, it wasn't even the following day. It was like after the shot and even to the next day, um, we just were really out of it. Um, I decided that I wasn't going to try and push myself, which is also why we didn't do the Thursday night stream. Isaac was working late and I was going to try and do it. Um, but as it got closer and closer to it, I ended up realizing how exhausted I was feeling and I had no energy and I was just not going to be interesting at all to watch. So I was like, you know what, screw it. We're just going to do something we don't normally do and we're going to actually cancel, cancel one of our nights. Um, and then Friday, I kind of took off because I decided that I kind of just wanted to have the day off. Desire, and I figured it was a good enough time to do it because I had already told people in advance that depending on how we reacted to the shot, we may or may not be live. So I just kind of decided to make that just a day to relax. I did the VODs both of the days. Um, I actually am completely caught up with the VODs. I've actually, something we've never done before is I have them all preset and ready for Izik to uh, just import directly into YouTube and make title pages for. It's kind of insane how many we got done. Um, but yeah, you guys are lucky you're having a hard time trying to get vaccinated. A lot of people are. It depends upon the area. Our our immediate area, we didn't have too hard of a time getting um, Isaac's stepmom, um, um, as, as we call her, Momzik, um, she's having a hard time getting on the vaccination list. Uh, she's been trying to get on the list and she can't get on it. Um, her husband, which is Isaac's dad, uh, he's already gotten on the list and I think he's had his first or he's already had his second. I think he's had his second. She hasn't had it at all yet, which I find really weird, but whatever. I mean, she's still trying to get on the list. Um, but they're also technically in a different town they're like 15 minutes of 5 10 15 minute drive away from us but they're in another town and that town has different rules and everything else comparative to the one that we're in um and so that's probably what's making the difference what am i doing here i need to find out where i'm getting this other i'm noticing a little auto save in the corner what else am i doing what if i talk to this guy at the cozy camp guy they talked to you recently? Um, oh, I was just thinking. This island is very haunted. Glad a spirit scout like yourself showed up. Okay. Can I cook on this? No. Can I cook with you? Feeling cramped, I can upgrade your tent with eight additional sword slots for 5,000 old coins. It goes directly to the Scouting National Committee. I don't see a cent. No thanks, I've changed my mind. C is getting overpopulated because I haven't been to like fishing like crazy. You know what? I wanna sell. Let's just sell some of this. What is this? Two sweet potatoes. Here, sell a radish for 200 coins. Sounds great. Here you go. I want to sell. What is this? Golden delicious apple. Eat it or shoot it off someone's head. Sell it. It's worth a hundred. Sounds great. Here you go. Sell. All these. Sounds great. Here you go. Sell for coins. Two rough fl flamingo tongues. I want to sell. 60 coins. Sounds great. I want to sell. 60. Um. Parsnips. 4,400. Sell. Sell that. 
You have a similar issue where one of your family members got vaccinated, but the rest of you can't be on the list. Yeah, it's... I mean, I understand it to some extent. The only reason Isaac and I got on the list is because we're considered in the risk category. Because we're both fat. <laughs> um, and so that considers the larger at-risk category. That's how we ended up getting on it. Sounds great. There you go. Five thousand six hundred sixty-eight now. Why is there just a coin here? What am I doing at this point? Yeah, you know some people that are overweight that could not get on the list at all. Again, that comes down to areas. It comes down to your country, it comes down to your area, it just comes down to there's multiple different factors. Because I know that it's a lot harder for people in other parts of the United States to get on the list, even if they're considered overweight and in the at-risk category, comparative to where we're at. We happen to have been able to do it. Other people are not necessarily going to be able to do it. I can't sit there and tell someone, oh, well, you should just, like, sit there and say because you're overweight, you're at the at-risk category. You can't do that. It doesn't work that way. It's not the same with every location. Got a list because you're essential. Yeah, that that I'm aware is something in some areas. A lot of areas, I want to say. I don't know it entirely, but yeah, I am aware that some areas are like if you're an, if you're an, considered an essential employee, you're on the list. Um. Last I had seen, and again, I have not been keeping up with the information as much as I should. I really should look at it tonight. Um, but last I had seen from the CDC within America, they are stating that they want everyone to be available, I think, to be able to receive the vaccine by June. They're, they're still predicting a sense of normalcy being seen by June and almost complete normalcy by July. Can I get that? No, that's just part of the island. See, I don't know how this plays. Is this supposed to play like... Animal Crossing where I'm supposed to put it down for like a day? Like wait until the next day to be able to progress? Or is it supposed to be just play at my leisure, do whatever I want, and it is possible to keep progressing? Because honestly, aside from this bird wanting that bagel thing, I don't see anything else that I can really do unless I can buy food from the fox. You want to buy something? He has all the stuff I've sold him. Young Eerie Bird. Likes berry bush lamps and rustic decor. Potted flower plant lamp and cozy decor. Citron. When a game gives you lemons, rejoice. Toasted nut flower. Finely ground nut flower with a heavenly toasted aroma. Squirrels are appalled. Walnut tree. Buy that. I can part with this toasted nut flour for 240 old coins. How's it sound? Sounds great. I don't know what to do with that. Now, hi, Netta. Um, you should wait for next day. So it does play like Animal Crossing, where I should basically just turn it off? Should grind for that catalog upgrade. That sounds like me wanting to hate my life if I do that. I was just thinking, as a ghost, it's, it's handy to keep a list of things that transcend the corporeal plane. Birdsong, affection, lost time. And for some reason, most caffeinated beverages. I like the dialogue. I think it's cute.
feel cramped, I could raid your tent for 5,000. I already have 5,000. Do I want to spend the 5,000 to upgrade my tent? I do. Upgrade it now. Okay, I'll upgrade your tent now. Oh my god, I have a singular piece of cloth that barely covers my head to keep the rain off. Now I may die of pneumonia slightly slower than before. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely new tent. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, because I can't even cook yet. Which means this bird just... is gonna die horribly. <laughs> No, don't upgrade. What is upgrading? Eight additional slots, 10,000. Yeah, kind of figured. Ah, no. Get out of the way. Put stuff in my storage. Wow, that is a big storage now. Okay. Put that in. That is a weird control. Put the catalog. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about the fucking catalog. <laughs> so I might try doing this a little bit in the mornings as part of my startup game for a while. Um, just to see it go a little bit further. I might at least play it throughout the majority of this coming week. So Monday through Friday kind of thing. Oh, look at his little an idle animation. <laughs> Um, I'd be interested in seeing where it goes. Um, I'm not exactly the kind of person that's looking for an Animal Crossing clone, but if someone is the kind of person that ends up enjoying this, it's cute. It's got good visuals, and I like it so far, for the most part. Would I want to stick with it as much as I've done with Animal Crossing? Eh, unlikely. But I am curious to see how far I can get it to go within, like, about a week or so. And playing it a little bit every day would be adorable. Who knows? And within a week, I might, like, totally say something different and say we're going to play this every morning until I stop streaming. <laughs> like, but for now, I I think I think we're pretty good. I do like it.